guys, and welcome back to Closing Cocktails, the series where we show you a little bit about the buying and selling process, and we also show you how to make a cocktail that'll help calm your nerves. So today we're gonna to be making a back porch pina colada. And for this recipe, you're gonna need five ounces of white rum, three ounces of cream of coconut, three ounces of pineapple, two cups of ice, and extra pineapple chunks for garnish. This one's actually pretty easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your ice, your pineapple, your coconut cream, and your rum into the blender and blend that all together. So when you're starting your home sewing process, one of the most important things you can be thinking about is your curb appeal and the general look of the outside of your house which is why we're calling this one the back porch pina colada. So it's important when you're selling to do things like pressure washing the pavement in your backyard and on your driveway. Also pressure washing the siding of your house and making sure that your lawn looks good and that flowers are in the beds when it comes time for you to sell so that when buyers come in, they really get a feeling of this is a completed home. So we just added our ice. We're gonna add in our five ounces of rum. A little extra, <laughs> a little extra on the top there. Another important aspect of cleaning up your house before you get it sold is thinking about the garage door, your front door, and the screens on the outside of the house. So a lot of times when a front door has been sitting in the sun for several years, it's gonna start fading or maybe even cracking and you're gonna wanna take a look at that and if it looks kind of bad or if it looks a little bit, you know, worn down, you're gonna wanna replace the sand on the door, repaint it, whatever. You're also gonna wanna do the same thing for your garage door. Again, the garage doors take a lot of the weathering of the house, they get a lot of wind, a lot of storms, a lot of sunlight. If it looks like it's a bit faded, if it looks like it could use an update, go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna do three ounces of pineapple. Oh, okay, it's liquidy in there. It just <laughs> <laughs> Steven is behind the camera right now gagging because he thinks the consistency is <laughs> What you can do is you can give this to a neighbor that you don't really care for after seeing the consistency of that. Thank you, Steven. The great thing about doing all these improvements too is that you also get to enjoy them. So after a long day of doing the work, putting in the time, pressure washing your house, repainting, etc., go ahead and prop up on your back porch with your new back porch pina colada. And if you need to add more ice to make a little bit more of that thick consistency that you like, that's totally fine. That's what we just did. And then you're gonna pour these into your fun, fancy glasses. And there you have it, your back porch pina colada. Ooh, that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Steven Delisle. Steven, you wanna take a gander at this new trick we got? <clears throat> yeah, uh, can you fill it up to the top next time? <laughs> yeah, it's a well. little low. This one was actually really, really good. Yeah, and he was acting like it was gonna be gross. This one's awesome, guys. Yes. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Closing Cocktails. Remember, with the Lyle Properties, luxury always comes standard. <laughs>